I'm Rick Buck, and I've been a diamond consultant for over six years. In today's video, we're going to talk about diamond fluorescence and why it is good, and one possible thing to look out for if you're considering a fluorescent diamond. <laughs> Fluorescence is a common term used in the diamond industry and it refers to the visible light that a diamond emits when exposed to ultraviolet or UV light. This phenomenon occurs in about one third of all diamonds and it's usually graded on a scale from none to very strong and this is done at a diamond grading laboratory. Now in a moment I'll show you that actually there's much more than one third of diamonds that have fluorescence and I'm going to show you how many of the earth created diamonds that are graded as no fluorescence usually have at least a slight fluorescence. Look at this diamond. You can see it's inscribed lab number and corresponding lab report which states fluorescence and none. But this isn't true because you can see it still has a little bit of fluorescence under the correct lighting with a single beam of focused UV light. It doesn't look like this on most synthetic diamonds like I'm showing you now. This is a lab diamond. It has no fluorescence whatsoever with that same light. But for diamonds graded with a strong fluorescence, any UV light will show and show strong like this diamond here. Now you may have noticed your diamond's fluorescence under the UV light when you're getting your nails done at the nail salon. Take a look at these diamonds under a nail salon UV light. The diamond third from the left has a strong fluorescence and that was the one I just showed you with the strong fluorescence. And the one next to it is the diamond that previously said none. The rest are not real earth created diamonds. They're either lab diamonds or fake diamonds. But I just wanted to show you what fluorescence looks like with without a focused UV light. So why is diamond fluorescence good? Well, there are a few reasons. First, fluorescence can actually enhance the appearance of a diamond. In some cases, it can make a diamond appear brighter, wider, or even more vibrant. Here's a little study done by GIA that showed people thought fluorescent diamonds look brighter in general. However, the results from this study are very minimal and it shows that it's not that big of a factor. Look at these two diamonds and their color. Now look here when I put them under fluorescent light. The one on the left has strong fluorescence. The one on the right was the same diamond earlier that had none. And as we saw, it was actually just very, very little. While barely perceivable, the fluorescence can slightly mask the yellow tints that a diamond may have and make it appear more colorless or less yellow. Before I get to the best part, make sure you watch all my videos on how to plan the perfect proposal. I have thousands of ideas and tips on things like how to plan and photograph the proposal so you have great memories. Also, if you want more money to spend on the engagement, I show you how to save hundreds to thousands on the ring and she will be impressed. Jewelers know that this is a one-time purchase you know nothing about, so take all my tips so you don't get ripped off and use the links below this video because those are the best places to buy rings and also help to save money on those rings so you can apply that to an amazing engagement. Secondly, fluorescence can also be a way to tell you if your diamond is lab created or earth created. As I showed you, the majority of natural earth diamonds exhibit some degree of fluorescence under UV light, while most synthetic lab created diamonds do not. Remember the diamond earlier had fluorescence even though the lab report said it didn't? The conditions and light must be optimal, but most of the time it has at least a little bit. In fact, here are those natural diamonds diamonds again sitting next to three lab created diamonds. It's important to note that not all natural diamonds exhibit fluorescence and some synthetic diamonds have been treated to exhibit fluorescence as well. Not a lot, but some. Therefore, fluorescence alone cannot be used as the sole indicator of a diamond's authenticity. Other tests, especially done by examination by a trained professional and lab certificates are necessary to confirm a diamond's authenticity. Thirdly, fluorescence is just a cool phenomenon. I think it's cool that this beautiful clear stone will suddenly glow from within when hit with UV light. Fourth, diamonds with fluorescence are usually slightly more affordable than those without. This is because originally some people perceived fluorescence as a negative characteristic, even though it can actually enhance a diamond's appearance. So if you're thinking 
to purchase a diamond on a budget, a diamond with fluorescence may help slightly and definitely uh, won't hinder it. However, it's important to note that not all diamonds with fluorescence are created equal. Some diamonds with strong fluorescence can appear hazy or cloudy in certain lighting conditions, detracting from their overall beauty. This happens in less than 0.2% of diamonds that are graded with fluorescence. So not all diamonds, but the ones that that labs grade as fluorescence, 0.2% of those might have a hazy appearance. So to avoid this, it's important to make sure your diamond is the higher clarity grades. If you go with fluorescence and look at the diamonds without fancy lights and under magnification, you can tell this when you're looking at them. Now, if you're wondering where you can even do that while you're buying a diamond, you can do this on my two favorite websites to buy diamonds. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you know buying online is better. And one of the many reasons is the ability to view diamonds with magnification under lighting that exposes flaws amongst the many other positive things about buying diamonds online. In fact, in my links below, I have filtered out low quality diamonds that still have strong fluorescence. Just plug in your budget and you will get the highest carat in your budget that is high quality with fluorescence. So as you can see, I tend to like fluorescence. A lot of gemologists out there are neutral on it and then there's a few that actually don't like it. So click on the links, you'll have filtered the fluorescent diamonds. If you want, add other diamonds back in, compare them on those websites and you'll be able to see fluorescence is actually just an added cool thing that your diamond can do most of the time. Moving on. On my channel, I have tons of proposal tips and idea videos from how to plan, photograph, and deliver the perfect proposal that she is going to love. Also, watch one of my many how to shop for engagement rings and diamond videos. Or mark my words, they know how to rip you off. The best places to buy diamonds are in the description below to save hundreds to thousands on engagement rings, and they are the best and most reputable places to buy diamond engagement rings. Like, subscribe, and watch another one now.